If you're watching this video, then most likely you want to learn more ways to grow your YouTube channel and bring it to even higher heights. And today, I thought that since I've managed to grow quite a bit in the last year or so, why not make a video explaining exactly what methods I use and how others could try it for themselves? Now, growing your channel isn't easy, and it depends on what type of content you're making that determines how fast you get subscribers on YouTube. So with that information, the first step is clearly deciding what type of videos you want to make, whether that be gaming, unboxings, vlogs, you name it. My advice when you're making a YouTube channel is to try to have the content be as original as possible while still being able to be something that people would be interested in. For example, when the top Let's Players first started out years ago, gaming commentaries was not as big as it is today. And with that, those channels exploded because of how unique and different their videos were, and how they were still entertaining to watch. So basically, if you want to grow quickly, you have to look at YouTube as a whole and try to look for any type of videos that have an unfilled gap in them, and then just try and fill that in yourself. If you can find that category of content and find a way to make it entertaining, you're gonna grow very fast, and you're probably gonna get thousands upon thousands, and who knows how high you'll go if you keep trying at it. But sometimes, you just can't find that void no matter how hard you try. And if so, then I still have some advice for you. A lot of content on YouTube is oversaturated today. Probably the most oversaturated content on YouTube is gaming, and that's why if you make a gaming based channel, you're gonna grow very slowly. Now other types of content such as music is very big, which is why music is the biggest video category on YouTube. But even so, music channels still grow quickly, and that's probably because people's desire of music is much bigger than gaming. My channel is a gaming news based channel, so when something happens in the video game industry, I talk about it and share my thoughts on it. And that's done pretty well for my channel, and in around 9 months I've gained over 330 subscribers. Seriously, I sometimes upload gameplay commentaries because some people ask for them, and they get around like 30 views, but gaming news is like a huge range. It gets between 20 views to like thousands upon thousands of views. Now comes one of the most important aspects for making your channel, if not the biggest requirement for making sure that your YouTube channel gets popular, and also something that about 90% of people I've met have failed at. What is it? Well, it's simply just consistently making content. So I used to have a channel called Sonic Kaboom from 2014, and today it has around 315 subscribers. When you looked up Sonic Kaboom on YouTube in around 2015 to 2016, it would be like the second thing that popped up. Keep in mind that a Sonic animation with the exact same name with over 1 million views was in the number one spot. A few months into 2017, I made my switch to Vizirla Productions, which is the channel you're watching right now. And then, the channel fell and is no longer the second thing that comes up. I think it's like the 10th or 8th thing that comes up or something. Why is that? Well, YouTube favors channels that are uploading consistently, and so do subscribers. The rule that I follow and I recommend you following is at least try to upload a new video once every two weeks. Once I broke that rule when it was going strong for a solid three years at that point, new video views began to drop and my channel started to fade away. So if you want your channel to do well, especially if you want it to grow fast, you have to make sure that you do this. If you don't, like I previously said, your channel will just fade away. So I've told you the two most fundamental points you need to figure out, one of them being your channel's video schedules and the other being what type of videos you should be looking at making. But there's still quite a bit to talk about, so I've decided to split this video into two parts. In the next few days or so, I'll be uploading a second part explaining what you should avoid doing on YouTube and some other things that helped me with growing my channel. If you want to be notified of when that video comes out, you can subscribe to get just that. I hope you did like this video. If you did, then please share this on social media. I'll link my social medias in the description, and see you.